Thanks for staying with us tonight. We finally have an answer to a two month legal battle concerning Fulton County prosecutors. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis disqualification controversy has consumed her office's case against former President Trump and others. Today, a judge ruled that Willis can remain on the case, but only if special prosecutor Nathan Wade steps aside. This afternoon, Wade decided to resign from the case. This clears the way for Willis to move forward with her prosecution on the election interference case. Zach Merchant shares more on today's ruling. twist in a history making case that spent the last two months focused on a controversy that put the conduct of prosecutors in the spotlight and on the witness stand. I'm not on trial no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. A team of defense lawyers argued Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis improperly financially benefited from a romantic relationship she shared with special prosecutor Nathan Wade who was appointed to lead the 2020 election interference case. That relationship, defense attorneys claimed, destroyed their ability to impartially pursue the case. The pair eventually admitted they shared, for a time, a romantic relationship, but they denied any wrongdoing. And there's nothing secret or salacious about having a private life. In a ruling this morning, Fulton County Judge Scott McAfee gave little credence to the idea that an actual conflict of interest occurred. But he said the evidence established that the district attorney's prosecution is encumbered by an appearance of impropriety. The judge saying, look, I don't think that there's any evidence that anything really bad went on here, inappropriate maybe, but not, not bad in the legal sense. But um, it doesn't look right, and you can cure it by getting him off the case and move forward. That's Robert James, a former DeKalb County District Attorney. Bob Rubin, a defense attorney, agreed, saying the stakes are even higher when a case involves major political issues. People have to have confidence that um, the justice system, if it's going to poke its head into the election process, does so fairly and equitably to all parties. Most legal experts say there's still a path to having a trial before the November presidential election, but there's no certainty on that timeline.